hey okay y'all welcome back i'm so excited to be back because you say you're gonna go live and then things can happen and you might not go live but anywho we are so how is everybody doing to get started my name is tiana i do a bunch of stuff on this channel following my micro life journey is the biggest thing but i also do other natural hair uh, tutorials and micro lock tutorials and lock tutorials you know all kind of stuff about hair so yeah um and i do 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 diy projects as well so let me check this out on another device as always as well, so. i am turning the volume down so you don't get an echo um don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so today we did a video for those of you that joined my live or watched your live. We did a video on having locks and going on vacation just because <clears throat> obviously being away from home is a little bit different than when you are at home and how you might care for your hair because you have everything there. But when you're away from home, you kind of want like the essentials but what my main concern our main focus for when you have natural hair and you're on vacation is not to do too much like don't do too much because sometimes you put so much into it and it don't always work out that way so yes when you log on go ahead and let me know in the comment section what is your number one tip for locks or for natural hair because today we're focusing on natural hair what is your number one tip for these things when you are on vacation now i'm going to try to remember some of the things that i did when i was natural and i would go on vacation and maybe some things that i will tell my clients but yeah let's get into it a lot of these from the locks video is the same so if you want visuals of some of the things that i'm talking about make sure you check out the video that i did on wednesday and then you can learn <laughs> and then you can learn about um you know locks and vacation hey shima hey shays and sage hey mother so thank you all for logging on if you ladies can give me your number one tip for hair care and vacation that we greatly appreciate it and don't forget to give me a thumbs up i'll be checking the thumbs ups ladies and gentlemen and they don't always be matching the people that view the video y'all gotta thumbs up these uh videos that people do because it helps promote it a lot hey jean thank you so much for joining and again everyone that logs on go ahead and give me what is your number one tip when you are on vacation what is your number one tip for hair or maybe your number two three four tips what are some tips that you have so we can go ahead and discuss them together while you ladies and gentlemen are getting your thoughts like i said the number one thing i can think of is just don't do too much like unless your vacation is a really important event like you're going away for somebody's wedding or for some kind of special occasion like unless it's a really important event less is more so you want to look nice but you don't want to have to maintain your hair that much oh look at you all saying hi to each other that's so nice all right so okay with that being said something that you're almost always going to need and this is like in case you get in a bind is that spray bottle if you don't have one of these make sure that you invest in them it's a little bit better than a small spray bottle because it has that extended uh skirt thing there and i really like that a lot the mist and because it's like that it kind of lets you evenly mist your hair as well so that's really really cool so definitely get one of these now me i'm a stickler i love all things hair and i'm really particular about hair so for me if i'm going on vacation this whole thing is coming but like i showed you in the previous video there are travel size containers for literally everything for spray bottles for uh lotion jars like there is like travel containers for everything go ahead and try out those travel containers please because they really work and you can kind of put anything that you want in there and like i said the only one that i probably would not use in a travel container is the spray bottle because i like that really really long mist that it has um okay and i am gonna get back to y'all comments but i think i might hold y'all's for the end your tips so that i can discuss them with you and then not lose track so we'll see so hopefully but put them in 
and then we definitely should be able to go back to them. But please keep them coming because I want to have a conversation with you all. All right. Um, let's see. Like I said last time, swim caps. Because most times when people go on vacation, you're going somewhere tropical or with the pool or a beach type thing when I'm thinking about vacation. So definitely you could do a swim cap. Um, but like I was saying in my previous video, if you are... Um, the only one that I would say should do a swim cap and not skip it is somebody with fresh locks. But if you have natural hair, you, it's kind of like your choice if you want to do swim cap or not. Now, for me, when I was natural, if I knew I was going somewhere where there would be water, I'm getting in the water, I absolutely would just leave my hair as natural as possible. And that's probably a tip, too, is whatever style or design you choose, keep it as close to your natural curl as possible because that way when the humidity gets to it or just you being busy and activities when all of that stuff gets to it you're not really losing anything because your hair is so close to its natural state as it so for me um i would i didn't really wear swim caps as much and um but that's also because i didn't know how to swim y'all i just learned how to swim okay and when we was in um i just learned last year and when we was down south recently I had my sister take all of these videos that she's got to send to me because I was showing her all of my swim tricks. If you don't plan on swimming, like legit swimming and getting your hair wet, then you probably definitely don't need a swim cap anyway because you probably just want to have like a, like a, uh, I can't think of the word, but not like a beachy look, but like a really fun and cool type look. So yeah. So yeah, swim cap is optional only if you think that your hair is going to get wet. Most people, and that's why you see this like trend, I've been seeing this trend. Um, for those of you who do not know, I love TikTok. So if you do not follow me on TikTok, please go ahead and follow me on TikTok. I love, love, love TikTok. Jean, we were in Greensboro, and look at me, proud of me for remembering because I'm bad with places like that. We were in Greensboro, and um, I think it's North Carolina, but don't get me to lying. But I think that's where we were, and we had a uh, church convocation down there, so we were there for a while. But yeah, at the end, I got to go swimming and stuff. Oh, Atlanta. All right, if this, this thing is giving me a notice, <laughs> then it might shut down. So if the Prism app shuts down, then I will just record the rest of the video. Or maybe I can go live on YouTube. I don't know. But if it does... Just know that it already gave us a warning that I'm, like, using up way too much space. But anyways, okay, let's keep going. But keep your comments coming because I definitely want to get back to them. All right. Um, so, yeah, most people, there's a trend on TikTok where they talk about, you know, when a black woman is going on vacation because she got braids in. And that is probably one of our signature thing. Now, we don't wear braids, but we do wear twists. So, a good, good vacation style is twist, two-strand twist. To be particular and updos because they last a little bit longer and because you don't have to do your hair every day like you don't want to on vacation you kind of about whatever you want to be doing on vacation so you don't want to be doing your hair every day so with that being said then yeah two strand twist is always a good good thing oh your daughter-in-law is from greensboro oh see we might have seen her and didn't even know that didn't even know that we've seen her. Ask her, ask her if she's seen us. <laughs> but yes, up dues, two strand twists. It could be loose two strand twists, which I I think personally that loose two strand twists is really nice because you definitely can get those wet and just let them air dry. Like if they get wet, they air dry. If humidity messes up, then you can always put two strand twists in an updo. And if they are small enough, you have the option of wearing them out or an updo. And Jean, I see your comment. I'm going to come right back to all the ones that's good tips. Yes, yeah, Shima. I'm, if, if needed, I'm going to try to pick it back up live on YouTube. If it shuts down on me, please, Jesus. Um, like I mentioned in my last one, shampoo and conditioner. Now, hotels have shampoo and conditioner there for you. However, um, me as somebody who's like allergic to everything, I don't mess with them at all. But if you're not allergic to everything, then my thing would be, I don't know if you have already, but if you haven't, definitely do it. And just in case, I will always bring your personal 
favorite shampoo and conditioner and like I said get those travel size containers and any kind of container you want spray lotion type whatever and put some shampoo and conditioner in them that way you have yours on standby just in case the hotels is not what you want because like I said I don't look at the ingredients because I don't use them but I wonder if the ingredients inside of them are natural hair or lock friendly so look at it because obviously a big goal of many of us is to try to get a product that's as natural as possible but as effective as possible as well so natural and effective all at the same time so I'm not sure how natural hair friendly the shampoo conditioner and even like the the body wash is at a hotel so you all if you know anything about that go ahead and chime in but yeah I don't know if the ingredients are perfect for natural hair like if it's new um, nurturing to our hair or not so I would I would just have it on standby have your favorites on standby I think the biggest thing about going away and I think that we as women do this a lot I saw somebody's post post on Facebook and <laughs> he was saying basically that all of us was not packed like a day before a day or two before the convocation started and he totally was talking about me but I think us as women like we always try to have backups right like when we pack for vacation and stuff we pack the outfit we really want to wear and then we pack another outfit that we know is like tried and true like we know will not mess up and we can pretty much put it on at any time and it's going to be good because we're particular or we might feel a certain way when we actually get there so i think it's the same way with your hair like you might have a style that you went down there with or up there or wherever you went on vacation with but just in case it doesn't work out i try to have products on me that i know are like tried and true can fix my hair quickly and with natural hair usually can fix it overnight because a lot of your styles are set that's why the twists are really good because they'll air dry if needed or an updo is really good all those type of things Right, Shays and Sage? Yeah, I definitely do that. I take what I really want, but I also have those backups. Backups that will come in clutch if I need it. Natural hair, ladies and gentlemen, definitely still bring your satin pillowcase. You know, I am all for satin pillowcase. And <clears throat> honestly, I don't even think mine is satin satin. I think it's a, um, a type of material that's very, very close. So I actually have to go look at it. But something that is really, really gentle on your hair, and because I have sensitive scalp, sensitive hair, sensitive skin, because I have all of those things, um, I'm just really particular about what I put on it. And when you're laying down and going to sleep, like you have to really be trusting whatever the fabric is that you're on. So I would bring a satin pillowcase. It's just an easy way to make sure that your face is protected and to make sure that your hair is protected, especially if you're somebody like me who has one of those heads where scarves and bonnets and stuff fall off easily you got the satin pillowcase just to extra protect you so that's always good to bring on a vacation if you have natural hair don't forget your satin scrunchies all of that lovely stuff hey everybody thank you for logging on don't forget to give me a thumbs up and in the comment section please let me know what is your number one tip for having natural hair and going on vacation or having locks and going on vacation your number one tip Put in a chat box, and when I'm done all of mine, I want to go back and read all of your good, good tips. Um, but yeah, satin scrunchies is a must. I don't know if I have any with me. Um, let's see. Yes, I do. I usually keep I usually keep one or two in my purse anyway. But yeah, so satin scrunchies are a must because again, when all else fails, your natural hair is going right in a nice little updo. And this is perfect because it will protect it while you're doing it. And, of course, it's not going to be too harsh or too hard on your hair. Um, like I said in the other one, there is a blow dryer there. But me, when I blow dry natural hair, I really like to use the tension method. So you might need a concentrator, a universal concentrator that you could put on their blow dryer. It will definitely eliminate frizz. And... Um, of course, if you're a curly girl who uses a diffuser, you might want to bring your universal diffuser. So maybe not your whole blow dryer, but it's always good to have those universal pieces and hopefully they can fit on it, um, onto the blow dryer as well. But with that being said, let's say your universal piece does not work. You should definitely practice with your blow dryer, knowing how to maneuver your hair without that extra piece on it. Like 
for example uh with the tension method or the comb attachment like knowing how to use maybe a paddle brush instead and blow drying your hair that way like know how to use it if you don't have your diffuser if you don't have your concentrator know how to use the blow dryer without one and still kind of get pretty sleek or pretty good results but i would always have a universal one with me whichever one is your favorite for your um whichever one is your favorite for your natural hairstyles and let me see is there anything else i feel like i have one or two more don't forget your night scarf so yes bring your satin pillowcase but don't forget your night scarf your satin uh night scarf or bonnet whatever it is that you use to sleep at night you need that natural hair ladies i think basically the overall thing is look just because you're on vacation does not mean you get to neglect your hair yeah, I am not for one for neglecting your hair. And I think especially us that cover our heads all the time, sometimes we take our hair for granted and we don't always do it underneath the hat or underneath the scarf. But that is not a good thing. Like still show your hair love and attention as much as possible, even though you're going to put a hat on or even though you're going to put a scarf on. You really want to have it as nurtured as possible underneath all of those things. And that's going to give you the healthy hair and the healthy hair and the look of healthy hair that most of us want to have um let's see uh let's see don't forget along with your water you do need a moisturizer so your oil a little bit of your oil or your moisturizer whatever is your favorite moisturizer and then my last thing i think let me just double check well two two things is of course, if you have to, at the last minute, get yourself an updo, make sure you have all kinds of pins. Bobby pins, which are the ones that are really tight and have the crinkles. Hair pins, which are the looser ones. And if you can, I like to have the large bobby pins and the small bobby pins as well because they do different things. So that way, again, if you got to pull it up, you can. Now, the style that I'm doing with my locks today, this used to be one of my staple styles when I was a loose natural. And especially if there's a lot of humidity. I knew that if push come to shove, I could pin my hair up or put a scrunchie in it or whatever and let it be there and just have some pieces on the side. And it still looks a little fancy even though it's super, super simple to do. And to do this, I usually do use the large uh, bobby pins or hair pins to get it done. And that works with the hat, it works with a scarf, it works kind of anyway. But that was one of my staple things I did when I was a loose natural was put it up right here so i always make sure i have hair pins on me just so i can do things like that like just pin it up real quick but still let it be out a little bit and even if i would bun this sometimes i would bun in the front as well but just having like a bun or some kind of top bun is always nice on vacation keeps your hair up out your way and it keeps you cool and i think the last thing i want to say and then i'm going to get to all your lovely comments Hey dad, the last thing I'm going to say is, <laughs> um, y'all don't try no new style. That is, listen, if you do not remember anything else, don't try a new style. And I don't care what that style is. I don't care if that style is two strand twist. I don't care if that style is a twist out, a uh, bail two knot out like it's going to be hard because sometimes you see styles and you really, really want to try it. But please, do not try a new style because, like I mentioned in my last video, there are so many little things that we do to our hair that we don't really pay attention to. So those favorite, favorite styles that we love to do, there's little things that we do that kind of tweaks it, that lets us know that it's perfect or the way that we want it to do. But if you try a new style, you don't know those little things. So you don't know like those little things that you need to do to make it complete. For example, when I did these Bantu knots, I did them big in the middle and smaller around the edges. Now, that was because having um, loose natural hair, I would have to make sure it was a particular size, so kind of like a medium and small size. And when I used the curl formers, I can only fit but so much inside of a curl former. Now, when I try these again, and hopefully I will, I know to make the bantu knots a little bit bigger, and that will keep me from having to stretch out the curls as much as I had to stretch it. Because I think I stretched these for like two days before I got it to what I want, and 
honestly it's just now the curl pattern is getting more and more like i want it to be as the days go on and that's just because the curls are falling but that's because i tried a new style right before vacation and then i had to do a lot of problem solving to see how to make it look the way that i wanted it to look don't try a new style y'all even if it seems simple because to me i'm like oh i tried bantu knots with natural hair but bantu knots on your natural hair and bantu knots on locks and bantu knots on micro locks are two different things so don't try a new style try one of your tried and true styles and the one that as much as possible is closest to your natural hair pattern so you don't want to manipulate your pattern that much now there are some of you who are really really good and you can go far from your natural hair pattern and um humidity and things doesn't really bother your hair but a lot of us with natural hair a lot of us like if humidity is in the air or if you're going somewhere near the beach near the water your hair kind of soaks up that humidity and then you have a whole new style that you never had or if you're going someplace where there's going to be a lot of people a lot of activity a lot of energy there then yeah your hair soaks up all the stuff that's in the air and that nice little twist out that you thought you had when you left when you come back is going to be poofier and bigger now sometimes it's bigger and poofier in a good way and sometimes it's bigger and poofier in a not so good way so yeah if you're going on vacation try a style that you know is going to absolutely positively work do not try a new style all right ladies and gentlemen don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'm going to go back to your comments now and see if any of you left me any good tips that we could talk about uh oh i gotta move out the way because the white is showing up on my dress all right so shades of sage said one tip i have is when you're traveling keep your hair wrapped up in the set style until you actually get to your destination it makes if that makes sense no that's perfect i didn't even think about that so that is a really 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 good tip because i definitely do that so if you all have any tips of what to do with your natural hair um make sure that you leave them in the comment section now and let us know if there's any good tips but yes shima that is a perfect tip do not take your hair out until you get to your destination but you know what will make you take your hair out before then is if you're trying a new style and you're trying to look at it before then then you're going to take it out before then but if you try a style that you already know then you don't need to take it out because you already know how it's going to work um or maybe you're just stretching curls on the trip but you're absolutely positively correct shima that is definitely one of the best pieces of advice keep your hair like that until you get to your destination and that could be like until you get to your hotel or if you're going to an event as close as you can to an event so like if somebody else is driving and you can take it down during then that kind of keeps it again most times our vacation spots and destinations are in humid places so many times that is a really good idea and plus while you're traveling you can be comfortable you don't have to worry about your hair or not messing up your hair or whatever the case may be because you're comfortable so yeah i know when i travel with curls it stays like this for the most part and then right before i go to the event then i shake them down but these this keeps the curls kind of curly um when my hair is straight because my micro locks are usually straight same thing it stays in this pineapple until i get there then i go ahead and take them down but absolutely shades of sage good idea and don't forget to subscribe to shades of sage channel and my mom has a channel too tamika hicks i think you still have it right let us know but subscribe to both of their channels and show them all love and support shades of sage channel is going to be on um maternity <laughs> maternal health baby's pregnancy and specifically breastfeeding if you have or want tips or advice about that or if you want to share you can always just subscribe to our channel so that you can share so that you can help and i think that's kind of what all of our channels are really about is like <clears throat> working together and building off of each other because maybe there's some good information that you could share with me or you could share with her so go ahead and subscribe so we can stay connected all right and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that lovely stuff. All right, Jean G said she likes to wear an updo while on vacation. And I'm right there with you. Absolutely wear an updo. 
um, and depending on your natural hairstyle, like I said, you could do like shades of sage set and you can have it up to while you're traveling or you could have it up to while you're just lounging around in a hotel or you can have the type of up to that is good for like little events and then for your main event you can drop your hair down or you can have one of those really good updos that lasts for the whole entire duration of your trip which is now that's really nice if you can do that that's nice especially because when you like take a shower all that stuff and when you wake up it's like just wrapping your hair unwrapping it and going wrapping it at night unwrapping it and going so that's always nice updos and it's definitely up there i think those are my top twos i have an updo style or to have like two strand twists but as close to, uh, to your natural hair as possible like i wouldn't recommend being natural and doing something like flat ironing your hair or blow drying it and then doing an updo where your hair is loose like with natural hair i kind of prefer to have it tied down somehow and that's why i like the two strand twists and things because it's most likely it's going to hold those things and not come out all right do you recommend my mom asked do you recommend certain products for twists and their maintenance now i am not when it comes to products i'm not big on products like i when i was natural and again and then most of that is two things i just like like a simple routine when i was natural the literally and it's pretty much close now having locked the only products i really really liked was conditioner and water so when i did a two strand twist or a two strand twist out i would use conditioner and i would use a giovanni deeper moisture conditioner and i really like that because i could put pretty much as much as i wanted on my hair and because i have type 4z hair i needed a lot of product so i would put a lot of product on it and then cover it with like a um t-shirt like some kind of cotton material to get off any excess of it but for the most part when i take it out and when i take it off then i didn't have like a bunch of white pieces you know how some products when you put too much on or sometimes it's not even a, a lot but when you put some on you see like white stuff like i hate that and aloe does that too so i have to be careful not to use too much because aloe vera does that too but uh, some of the conditioners not all but i know that giovanni deeper moisture there you can put on as much as you need a nice healthy healthy portion until it's like oozing out of your twist or whatever use a t-shirt and get out the excess and then boom it's done now another another product that i really really like so if you want to talk about a like now okay if you're natural and you do a wet style from your hair is wet or very very damp and then you put on something like conditioner and you style it with like two strand twists and you let that dry it's going to be very very defined if you use enough product it's going to be very very defined mostly because you took it from wet to dry from two extremes and it was able to really really set but let's talk you want to do a blow dry style um then those in those cases i would recommend foams now foams are really really good but you have to be careful there's one here <laughs> You have to be careful because, I mean, this was not saying what I needed to say though. You needed to say, like for me as a, um, as a loose natural, I needed all of my products to say strong hold. So if I was using a gel, strong hold. If I was using a foam, strong hold. This is one too, and I want to say it said light hold somewhere, but I'm not oh yeah it says a lightweight setting mousse so this is like a mousse and i wouldn't really say a mousse i would say i'm not recommending this product y'all <laughs> we tried this actually we tried this on vacation and we were it was okay but because it said a lightweight setting it was kind of obvious if you're going on vacation and you want that setting to last you want it to say strong hold it has to say strong hold on it um most times for us with natural hair now one of my favorites favorite favorites and maybe i'll show a picture later somewhere but my favorite setting lotion there's two one i can't remember the name offhand but if i saw it i would know it and the other one is care care love care care like their brand is pretty good kind of like a lot of their stuff but their mousse their setting lotion that says strong hold is really really good like i would be able to take my extremely curly natural hair and do like 
any kind of curly set like perm rods whatever do a different set with it from wet from it being wet and it would come out almost pretty much straight and i'm saying a lot if your hair is super super curly so care care is really really good foams i love foams for natural hair because it allows you to get as much coverage as you really really need creams are really good too and it also depends on a person's hair that's a whole nother story but i love foams care care is really good so if you're doing twists I would recommend conditioner if you're going from wet to dry, but you have to be careful that that conditioner will not dry with white flakes. And I know that Giovanni's Deeper Moisture does not. Just make sure you use a t-shirt at the end before you let it dry to get off the excess conditioner. And then the other one I really recommend is Care Cares, but it has to be their setting lotion and it has to say strong cold on it. You want one of the ones with strong cold. And right, let's see if there's any other one. And Jean G also said on vacation, keep the style simple. And I'm right with you. Keep it simple. Keep it as close to your natural texture as possible. I think because you're on vacation. Like, you do not want to be stressing about your hair not working right or looking right. You're on vacation. Enjoy your vacation. Keep the style simple and keep it with something that you absolutely know is going to work. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, everybody. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for logging on. Make sure you get your last comments on because I think I'm about towards the end of the comments that are in there. So any other recommendation, any other, other huge, huge tip about having natural hair, make sure you leave it in that comment section. If the live ends before you get a chance, just leave it in the comment section down below and that will help us all. Um, Shades of Sage mentioned the artwork. <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> so, yes, this is one of my mom's paintings. And as you can see, it's taking up the whole screen, y'all. This thing is huge. It's really big. It's, like, almost as big as my arm span. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Pretty big there. Probably about almost as tall as me and then both ways. So, <laughs> it's pretty big. Um, But, yes, so thank you for that. We thought this would be best because the blue complimented my dress and yes shades of sage i made this dress too definitely one of my favorites because it has the uh well y'all can't see let me see it has the um i can't think of it i sure did i think that's how you say the word sure we had a conversation if you didn't check out how to sure fabric i had that video on my channel so you definitely can check that out but this is one of the first dresses that i tried it with either first or second but yeah this is one of my favorite dresses Perfect for the weather, perfect for vacations. So I think this whole look is like a vacationing look, you know? So you get the theme, like I feel like it. I felt like the water, I, I'm the water, the painting I told her was like nice and blue, like water and flowing. So I thought it went good together. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I've shared shades and sage with my daughter in law. Aw, congratulations on your new baby. Is it baby boy or baby girl? But yes, share Shades of Sage channel with all of our new moms, especially because they have a hard time, like, especially because her channel focuses a lot on breastfeeding and unfortunately our mothers don't get as much support in that as they want. So I know Shades of Sage just did a video on like the formula shortage. So there's a lot of good information, but there's also information on like labor techniques, breathing techniques, all kinds of stuff that you want to know. And just some family vlogs in there too so i'm pretty sure all mothers and fathers can relate and yes share her channel with men too because men need to know how to help out women as well like they didn't have that baby by themselves help that woman out but sometimes they just don't know so channels like that help men and women moms dads brothers sisters aunts and uncles kind of be a support because i think that's what a lot of moms and babies need the more support the better and of course and our demographic and uh people of color like we need as much support as possible and have to be as educated as possible too so that we don't have as many complications in birth but yeah i'll let shades of sage tell you all about all that good stuff go ahead and check out her channel again don't forget to subscribe to mine and my mother's channel and shades of sage channel and our facebook's instagram make sure you check me out on tiktok i love tiktok y'all i really have a problem with it and i have to get off of it but pray for me so that you know maybe things will work out 
But yeah, thank you all for joining. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And again, congratulations, Jean, on your new baby girl that your family just had. I hope that they enjoy uh channels like shades of sage all those channels that help out with family related things but yeah y'all i think i'm about to log off i appreciate everybody that logs on everybody that tuned in don't forget you can get beautiful artwork uh, like this from my mother and all shapes and sizes and you can get um one made specifically to your colors your likings and all that fun stuff give me that thumbs up make sure you subscribe and all of that beautiful beautiful stuff thank you gene and everybody else that was able to join, especially my family. Love you. Thank you for all of your support. All right, I hope to see you on the next one. I hope that you come back. Again, any other tips that you have for me or anybody else with natural hair and locks and how we should treat them during vacation, go ahead and drop them down below. I hope you all have a beautiful night. I appreciate you tuning in and your support. I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, adios.